Aloha and welcome from to a Hawaii. tropical paradise in the United States. Well, a part of the United States, but actually it's one of the most isolated population centers in the world. At nearly 2,400 miles from the United States and 4,000 miles from Japan. So, if you're looking for a tropical break from the world, this is the place. In this video, I will be sharing 15 of the best things to do on the island of Oahu, Hawaii. Or also, Honolulu and Waikiki. Number one, if you're going to Hawaii, you have to visit a volcano. And even though the one on Oahu is no longer active, sorry for all of you that wanted to see lava, I did too. The hike to Diamond Head is a must. It's a popular hike for reasons and definitely worth it. The views from the top are amazing. You can't beat that view. It's only about 1.5 miles round trip, paved trail that can be rocky, with an amazing view of Waikiki and tons of history. Small note, watch out for bugs at the top. We're at the very top. The very, very, very top, and there was bugs everywhere. I don't know if you can see them. They're everywhere, and it's really bad. Bonus side trip is if you want to visit the lighthouse that you can see from the trail. It's called Diamond Head Lighthouse. We didn't go, but we saw it, and thought it was awesome. Number two, Hanoma Bay. If you've never gone snorkeling but want to, definitely start here. There are tons of fish, and it's a great beginner spot. There's huge fish, colorful fish, fish everywhere. It's amazing. But the reef is sharp. I accidentally slammed my foot into it and got a big bruise and scrape. So if you're new, maybe get a small flotation device to make snorkeling easier with the waves. Because yes, it's constantly decent sized waves. And while you're here, go on a hike around the bay. The Hanoma Bay Ridge. It's easy, but a long uphill hike. Amazing views yet again. Bonus right next door is the Coco Crater, which is an extremely steep hike. It also doubles as a leg workout. The view is pretty, but the view of it, I think is just as pretty. We took one look at it and said no. But we did say yes to the best food just down the hill from Hanoma Bay. Leonard's Bakery, this one was a food truck. If you hadn't had a malasada before, it's delicious. And I am a terribly picky eater. I thought they would be like donuts, but no, they're just absolutely delicious. That's all you need to know, go try one. Number three, Waikiki. You must see the statue of the Duke, who is credited with popularizing surfing and was a five-time Olympic medalist. You can take a surf lesson, Catalina boat, paddleboard, visit the zoo since it's right there, eat at Duke's Waikiki Barefoot Bar, get an ice cream, and a must is watch the sunset. Also, another bonus tip, if you have snorkel gear, you can practice here easily before going to Hanoma Bay. As for beaches in general, you can get lost by trying to pick a beach, but hey, it's a good problem. Pick one and go, you can't go wrong. Just make sure to look at the currents and pay attention to warnings though because they are nothing to play around with. Even ask the locals. When in doubt, don't go out. Number four, Manoa Falls. If you want to experience the jungle of Oahu in the easiest form, visit Manoa Falls. It's a 1.5 mile hike to a 150 foot waterfall. Just bring rain gear because it basically always rains and good hiking shoes. There's other falls, but I think this is the easiest access if you're staying in Waikiki. Number five, Dole Plantation. I must mention it because it's popular. However, I would not recommend it for more than an hour. You can watch my other video on it where I go into more detail, but overall, it's not worth the cost. Browse the free areas, maybe try a pineapple whip, then call it good. Number six, Pearl Harbor. Also a very much must see, but don't do it with bags. Leave your purse, luggage, anything else at the hotel room. Bring only essentials because they make you pay for storing your purse or any bag. You just can't take anything in. So my mom and I actually took turns with our bags. One of us went in, one of us stayed outside on the bench with our luggage. Depending on your plan for transportation, if you're renting a car, I'd recommend taking the bus at least once. It's a popular option and can give you insight on how some locals use the bus, meet other tourists, and see parts of the city you normally wouldn't see. Plus, it doesn't cost much. However, it's not speedy, as you might have guessed. So take it, but don't expect to get there fast. Okay, it's the moment you foodies have all been waiting for, my list of food. We already talked about Leonard's Bakery, but other real quick recommendations are the one place that always had a line, no matter what time of day we went by it, other than when it was closed. I'm not going to attempt to say it, but here it is. It was popular, fresh, fresh food, and although not a personal favorite, it was good. Shave ice, not shaved ice. There's a difference. Shave ice is more like snow consistency. Loco Moco, it's two hamburger patties with two eggs and rice drenched in gravy. 
Waymanello Country Farms Lemonade. I don't know if I said that right, but hey, it's lemonade. Number nine. Another big tip is to get a good hotel, which is kind of obvious, but my mom and I spent the longest time on this entire trip process picking out a hotel. We lucked out with this amazing, amazing view of the city for a budget-friendly cost. Hello from the 39th floor. Yes, there's beachfront hotels, but Waikiki isn't too big, so you can walk to the beach from nearly anywhere and pretty safe overall, just stick to the busy streets. Number 10, something we didn't see but wanted to was in wildlife. North Shore is supposed to have higher sighting chances like the Hawaiian monk seal, sea turtles, jellyfish, and albatross. Number 11, if you're a hiker, my easiest suggestion is just to search pillbox hikes in Oahu and you'll find endless lists depending on what area you're going to and type of hike you want. Number 12, stop by the International Marketplace Mall because there's literally no roof. With amazing weather year round, there's literally trees growing from the mall floor out to the roof with no hesitation. Plus, if you visit at the right time, you can see authentic cultural dances and shows. Which reminds me, there's plenty of hula shows to pick from too, including a free one right next to the Duke statue on Tuesday evenings for free. Number 13. If you're a dinosaur fan, then yes, Oahu is a big filming location for Jurassic Park. So you can make your way over to Kualoa Ranch. It's a 4,000 acre private nature preserve and the filming location for Jurassic Park and many other Hollywood films. Number 14, ABC stores. You really can't go to Waikiki without going to an ABC store because they are literally on every corner and I'm not exaggerating. They are great and handy stores if you need sunscreen, snorkel gear, beach shoes, and of course, souvenirs. If you keep your receipts and they add up to over $100 or more, you can get a free gift or two from them. So save those receipts. 15. This is more of a thing not to do, which is to collect a rock or two. Even though I really wanted to take a rock back home, you can't because legend is that Pele, the goddess of fire and volcano, enacts a curse on anyone who steals items off the island. She considers the rocks and sand her children and will do anything to protect them. The curse is only lifted when you return the stolen items. Also, it's illegal to take sand and rocks from Hawaii. And finally, even though Alaska, California, and Florida outrank Hawaii for miles of coastline, some of the best beaches are right here. But it is the ocean and there's going to be sea creatures, including jellyfish. We did see jellyfish because once a month there's a jellyfish surge. Check the calendar as jellyfish usually arrive on the windward, which is the east, and south shores about 12 days after a full moon. We came right at the peak of the new moon, so we were careful, but from our experience, they weren't a huge bother. We just had to watch where you stepped, and soon it became easy to spot them. Thanks for watching my top 15 things to do. Keep an eye out for Lilo and Stitch, oh, and Elvis while you're there. <laughs> I hope you learned something new and added a few more things on your travel itinerary for visiting Hawaii. That's it from here in Waikiki. Me and Diamond Head say have safe travels here in Hawaii.